Fresud is actually involved in uh, maritime surveillance and naval defense. So I'm here today at uh, the uh, DGI Innovation Forum because uh, we have this product um, named Intuitive Pointing Device, which is uh, actually the sole handheld naval target designator in the world. So um, this equipment integrates uh, the outstanding performances of uh, human detection to provide instantaneous, accurate 3D localization and imagery of any air, land or surface threats. So the basic idea is to minimize sensor to shooter cycle, mainly in asymmetric context. So this equipment um, consists of three fiber optics uh, gyros. We also have a laser range finder, ISAF one. So with those two uh, components, we are able to provide the 3D coordinates. And then to enrich the information, we have added uh, an extreme low light camera and an infrared uncooled thermal camera. So this way, when you are in an asymmetric scenario, Complementary to the radar or the optronics, which are not generally able to detect residual threats, the operator has the capability with this equipment to instantaneously target any threat and then able to choose the mode from a thermal to low light and to send directly to the combat management system the 3D coordinates and the imagery so that it can be chosen to decide uh, such, a, such a way. So the new trend with this equipment now is to use this to provide straight to the remote weapon system the target designation so that we save time in the process, right? This equipment is 2.5 kilograms, right? So it's very easy to use. Actually, it's a reflex action. Um, all the solutions in the world are based on a pole. They weigh 200 kilograms and you turn around so this one, compared to the system, allow very good air coverage and also provide very good negative sight. This is really very important when you are facing a symmetric threat, which is arriving, you need to have negative sight capability. So this equipment really allow you to move, right, and to really uh, target um, the threat. Generally, you have um, two systems like this, right? Uh, starboard and port side, uh, so that you can cover uh, both uh, view. And um, the previous generation was deployed uh, for 10 navies on about uh, 17 of all ships. But this one uh, should go beyond because uh, this one is now very linked to the remote weapon system. Uh, those systems are very uh, good equipment, you know, in terms of optronics. But the point is, they generally all need to have a pre-designation so that they can join the target position instantaneously. So this is what was missing in the chain, and this is really the objective with this equipment. Yeah. We are here at Innovation DGI Forum because this is a sole and held equipment, but this space is also um, the success story area, and the success story is there because we, this morning, just signed with a, a big uh, French uh, shipyard the contract to go on board uh, the Midlife uh, Lafayette Frigate uh, modernization program. So we are very proud of it and this is uh, the launch program for the IPD.